Welcome inside Rocky's Bar. I'm pleased to say I've been joined by Philip Murgis, who wears number three for the Las Vegas Guns and Hoses. Philip, how have you enjoyed your time over here so far? Oh, I'm loving it. Uh, you know, it's been a great experience coming over here to Ireland and uh, meeting all the people. And, uh, you know, the teams uh, that have come together and, uh, and meeting the other Irish teams which are behind us, uh, it, it's, been, it's been a great time. Um, you lost your first game today, five goals to three. Very, very tight game against North America Blue. Yeah, you know what? They're a great team. And we, when we came in, we knew North American Blue was going to be the team to beat. Uh, you know, I don't want to discount. I know there's a Canadian team in there, so we're a little worried about them. But we knew, our, we knew North American Blue was a tough team. We played them before. How much has the team had an opportunity to practice together over the last few weeks? Obviously, you've all got, you know, big jobs to do. The last few weeks, uh, I know my myself, uh, I've been uh, traveling Ireland and drinking a lot of Guinness, so it hasn't helped uh, the game very much. But we normally play every Thursday and uh, Sunday morning together as a team. So we, uh, we get together and, and play fairly, uh, fairly often. And going back to the game today, um, were you happy with your performance or a little frustrated? Yeah, you know, you know uh, um, the first period was tough for all of the guys on the team, and we all came back after the first period and said, you know, Three nothing, uh, you know. This isn't us, and we and we can do better. And and we came back and we, we turned it into a four three game, and then uh, you know we, and we tried to make a go of it and pull in the goalie, and they ended up winning five three. But uh, you know it was a, a good try. You know we, we made it we made the best effort we could. And what are your expectations for your remaining five games? Are you looking to win the whole tournament, or are we just just here to have fun? You know what, we're here to have fun. We want to win, and uh, you know. We're Americans and we, we want to win, there's no doubt about it. Uh, uh, and we, we love the World Police Fire Games. But you know, I was telling the younger guys that were here, um, after the games we came up and, uh, to the stands and watched, you know, the thousand people, hung out with a thousand people which were uh, watching the uh, Trident game. And uh, you know, there was several people there uh, taking their pictures with us and, and, and I told them, you know, you know, this little gal here in, in a wheelchair that we were hanging out with it is what it's all about. It's more important than, uh, than uh, us winning the next game. But uh, it's been a great experience and, uh, and, uh, and great meeting all these people. It's really, really uh, uh, something you can't do in, in just Las Vegas, you know, playing up at the hockey rink at the Fiesta. So how does the rink that you play in back in Las Vegas compare to the Odyssey Arena? You know what? The arena is beautiful. It, it's a great arena. Um, it's so hot here. I don't know what happened. I brought the weather with us. So the 115 degree weather in Vegas uh, kind of transformed over into uh, into Ireland and, and into Belfast. And and some and and I know the rink is just uh, a little bit hot, a little hotter than uh, we're used to. But uh, it's been a great time and a, and a great group. And what are your plans for when the tournament is over? Are you flying straight back or are you hanging around for the rest of the games? I've already uh, vacationed for 10 days, so I'm heading back home. I know a lot of the other guys are staying here and are going to enjoy the games. Uh, you know, it's uh, what a beautiful country and great people. Thank you very much for your time, Philip. All right, thank you. Cheers.